If you want to learn how to make a video like this, I'm about to show you what I do step by step as a full-time content creator. No holding back, this is the reality behind the scenes content. I start by prepping the area. So for this shot, I used my weighted blanket on the ground with the window behind me and I used my tripod. I actually cover the legs with the blanket because sometimes it shows when I'm angled down. I grab a pillow for a backdrop and my go light and I clean the lens always. And the reason I do all of this is if you look at my background, it's super busy, super distracting. You don't want that in your video. I'm just showing you guys because that's the reality. Back to the box. So I film outside of the box before I ever open it. I film some shots where I'm slowly opening it, some where everything is far away from the lens. I bring it close as if I'm zooming in just for perspective shifts. I make sure all the labels are very clearly seen and I do open everything pretty slowly. I film everything the box comes with and I always make sure to get different angles of the product. And when I do that outside of the box, I always make sure that label is turned towards the camera. Usually it's not, so I kind of move it, put it back in, and then I do the big reveal of the product shot. As you can see here, it looks very clean whenever it's facing forward. And I continue to just shoot every step of everything, different angles. And then I wanted to show me actually using the product. So I just moved my go light and my tripod over to the mirror and I adjusted it. I didn't want to be fully face on. I wanted to be perspective in mirror but I did move everything out of the frame that wasn't needing to be there it just looked too busy I use my hand as a focal point so that I know I'm in focus and I put my face where my hand was and I start filming the content this what you see right now is the iPhone 7 but my camera the iPhone 13 it's crazy the quality of color it picks up it was unedited crazy like as you can see it just looks so beautiful in the actual camera and then once i did those slow shots of using the product i got ready because i wanted to end the video with me having my makeup done and the next day i realized i wanted another shot against a blank wall of the product by itself so i just had my hand in the white background and i did some zooming in and then i used the dropper and i did some not zoomed in and then i did some that was zoomed in and i kind of just incorporated this and mixed it in with the other footage as you will see this is how that final video actually came out